products to people, there is no shortage of well shortages. And there's not just one cause to the issue. The supply chain itself is missing some pieces from the start. Our Nixon Norman tells us how this is impacting people locally. From factories to grocery store shelves, supplies are limited. Anyone who shops or eats, which is everyone, has been impacted by this supply chain issue. A lot of the time, products aren't available because part of the materials needed to make that product are not available themselves. Companies and businesses across the U.S. have been facing a shortage of products, but recently there has been a major shortage of people, people willing to work. Part of the reason that we didn't have any more drivers was people having to stay at home. Uh, then, of course, we got bailouts and we got money for free and nobody wanted to work. This is particularly affecting those who run restaurants and grocery stores. If you've been to any fast food place, they're out of stuff. Uh, where you could go get breakfast or out of a biscuits. Now, I mean, that's the main item on the breakfast menu, so. Well, really, what I'm seeing is uh, we are getting a, a lot of products in. It's just some of the, the most, I guess, most popular items, like some of the juices, what customers buy every day. Uh, we all kind of limited it on them right there. Despite these shortages, Ward paves a way for his customers. The order have changed up some. Uh, like I said, some items that we're not getting in, we probably won't get it in for a while now. We're just spreading out on other other products. So uh, that's what we're doing right now. We're just kind of spreading out on, on a lot of other products. And luckily, these customers don't seem to mind or at least understand that this supply issue doesn't fall on the shoulders of local business owners and employees. No complaint from our, from our customers. Our, our customers understand if we're, if we're out of something, we're going to try to get it to them some, some way. Nixon Norman, Fox 54 News.